So, you've found the perfect place to rent and you're asked to put a deposit down. But how do you know if it's secure or if you'll ever see it again? Well, don't worry. Your deposit should be protected by law and I'm here to find out how. Lawrence, I understand that as a tenant, I need to have my deposit protected. Is that right? That is right, Nikki. The Housing Act 2004 made a tenant's deposit protection statutory for all assured shorthold tenancies. And the relevant provisions came into effect in April 2007. So how does that work? Are there different schemes that operate? There are three different schemes. Uh, the one that I'm concerned with uh, allows the landlord or the agent to hold the deposit during the tenancy and then submit it to us if there is a dispute. OK, and what's the, what's the scheme that you're involved with? It's called the Tenancy Deposit Scheme. OK, so um, if there is a dispute at the end of the tenancy, what happens then? If there is a dispute, as I said, the uh, disputed amount is submitted to us. We then uh, employ an adjudicator to reach a decision on the dispute. Uh, we then verify it and pay out the money in accordance with that decision. And how long approximately would that take? We aim to do it within 40 working days, but it is, as you might imagine, very variable depending on the complexity of the dispute and the ability and willingness of the people to help us uh, get information and, and process it. So what happens if my deposit hasn't been protected? If your deposit hasn't been protected, uh, you should take legal advice, but you would be able to take the landlord to court and you could expect three times the deposit by way of compensation. Really, that's very reassuring. So it really is up to the, the landlord to, to register the deposit. The tenant doesn't really have to do very much, is that right? That's correct. It is the landlord's responsibility, and indeed the tenant doesn't have any say in which scheme the deposit uh, will be lodged. OK. So has this legislation had much of an effect on the market? Uh, it has been slow, but certainly the scheme with which I'm involved uh, covers, uh, when I last uh, counted, uh, over a million tenants and three quarters of a billion pounds worth of deposits. Wow, really. Lawrence, that's, that's really helpful. Thanks very much. Thank you. And this is one of the properties that you let? Yes, it is. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So if I come to you, Anne, with a, a deposit as a tenant, what happens to my deposit? It's registered at the TDS scheme and you're given a certificate at the outset to prove that. So that certificate acts as my receipt? Yes. OK. Yes. So what happens to the money during the tenancy? That's held by myself as an agent. As, so it's yeah. not at the TDS, it just remains with the yes, agent? Yes, yes. So after the tenancy, when it's time for me to, to go and retrieve my deposit, mm -hmm. how does that happen? What's the process? There's a checkout appointment. Um, you go around the property with the tenant, the outgoing tenant, with the inventory that's prepared at the outset as well. Very important document. And you go around with the landlord client as well, either at the same time or a different time and you mediate between the two parties. So hopefully, if the inventory is, has been done well and professionally, mm. then there won't be a dispute. But if there is a dispute, what happens then if the landlord and the tenant can't agree? Well, the agent tries to mediate, and it's your job to mediate, really, to give advice to both parties, uh, wear and tear accepted. That's a very big one that we have to give a lot of advice on and, uh, you know, go through with both parties, really. Right. OK, we've done all that but the landlord and the tenant still can't agree, what happens then? Then it very often can be the case that you're referred back to the TDS okay. by one party or another. So it, do you think it's a good thing, the TDS scheme? Very much so, yes. Because it benefits the, the tenant and, and would you say it benefits the landlord as well? Yes, yes, it does. It just makes everything clear cut and, and closure? Yes, yeah. yes. It's very reassuring and thanks very much. Right, thank you. So, good news for tenants and landlords. Tenancy deposits are protected by law and there is a clear dispute process to follow should you feel that your deposit is being unlawfully withheld. For further information, visit www.direct.gov.uk forward slash en forward slash tenancy deposit.